if you are born, then the only thing in life that's completely certain is that you die. But what you do between those two big life events is everything. How are you living your life? What are you doing? What is, the, what is your day like? What is your today like? Are you living moment to moment, enjoying whatever life is giving you? Or are you continuously caught up in past regrets and feeling miserable about things? Or longing for something that you can never get, never have? Because if you're doing that, you're completely missing the moment. And it's only in the moment that you can have true enjoyment, true enjoyment. When you go on a vacation and then you come back and you say, oh, I had a great time. It is merely a memory of a feeling. Right? I had a great time. It's a mere memory of a feeling. It doesn't exist now. So, if you want that feeling to exist, that feeling of continuously being on vacation, you've got to celebrate each moment. You've got to enjoy, you've got to live a hundred percent, right here, right now. And this is a continuous practice. We are constantly dealing, <coughs> dealing with things, right? Our life is not, not easy. Everybody's got something that they're dealing with. You know, something happens, it changes. Something comes your way, it changes. People come in your path, people go away. You walk together for a little while and then they go their separate ways. Each one has got a different contract on this life. And when your contract is up, it's up. The good thing is it only happens once. It only happens once. You only die once. But you live in fear of death a million, billion, zillion times. And that takes away the joy of living. Yes, that's an inevitability. For some it'll happen quickly. For some it'll happen painfully, whatever. So that the body has to give up one day. It is the acceptance that that is an inevitable solution. And stuff is going to happen to you. It's going to come your way. Events are going to affect you. And you have to accept that. The greatest impediment in our path of true enjoyment, of true living, is our own inner resistance to what's happening. Our inability to accept the present situation as it is. Whatever happens, we have no control over it. We are not responsible for it. We think of hundred reasons this should have happened. We could have done this. We should have, woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? All the time, all the time, we're thinking about things, the, a way in which we could have manipulated past events. What you, you, can, you cannot manipulate what's gone by, but you can definitely manipulate how you feel right now. That's about the only thing you have control over. Right now, how am I feeling? Am I identifying with the feeling of being angry with life? Am I identifying with the feeling of being depressed about life? What are you identifying with? in this moment because you are not your feelings your feelings they come and go and they are just memories they are nothing other than memories when you are trapped in the present moment there are no feelings nothing there is nothing in this moment there just is it's pure acceptance of everything as it is, without any judgments, without any thoughts, 
without saying I like it or I don't like it. Yes, you like, you know, good things to happen and no, you don't like bad things to happen to you. But good and bad happens all the time and if one doesn't happen, you don't understand the other. If people had only good things happening to them, they would find the least good thing to feel depressed about. Is that what happens in the Western world? They don't have the Taliban running after them. They don't have uh, you know, to fight for their lives or be you know, hit, uh, attacked by chemical weapons. They don't have husbands beating them up. Right? Some of them do. <coughs> Life is good. Life is good, so they find something else. Oh, men always reject me. Oh, my group always reject me. I'm the least popular person. Oh Lord, I feel so sorry for myself. And I get so mad with people that just get into depression when they have so much to be happy about. So much to be thankful about. You have to think of that part of your life that's going really well. You have to think of that part of your life that gives you joy that you have successfully worked out. You don't start focusing on the things that make you depressed and make you miserable and make you unhappy. And difficult situations, you know the funny part is when you're in a really tough situation, you just the fact that you're acting or you're doing something about it solves it and you actually stop thinking. When you're in deep trauma, when there's a very difficult situation and you have to attend to it, you have to do something. The very fact that you're acting and you're doing something about it just cuts out your thoughts. Because feelings of misery and unhappiness and, you know, ingratitude and all of these things are all about thought. It's the degree to which you are stuck in thoughts. Because thoughts mean nothing. Thoughts mean nothing. They're just bubbles of energy that come, they burst, they go. They come, they burst, they go. Which thought are you thinking is real? The one that tells you that, oh, you're looking fantastic today. The one that tells you, oh my God, you've got a wrinkle. Which thought are you thinking is so fantastic? The one that tells you, oh my God, you're a superstar. Or the one that says, you didn't make it, did you? They're both bubbles of energy. That's all they are. Something happening somewhere. We have no business being unhappy. It is so easy to be happy. It is so easy to be happy. You just need to be present. <coughs> you just need to be present. You just have to learn to be completely aware right here, right now. Break your, cha your chains of thought. Throw away old feelings. Get rid of, bury all your anxieties and fears. They don't mean anything. They don't mean anything. It's only when things actually happen that a fear, that a, you need to be fearful. And when you're in the middle of a fire and your house is on fire, instead of being fearful, you will run. It won't be the fear that you're worried about. It'll be the, you'll be thinking of the way to exit the house. And action itself, that action itself will get rid of everything else. Fear means nothing. A little fear is good. A little fear is always good because it keeps you safe. Otherwise, we'd be doing all kinds of crazy things, right? If we didn't have a little bit of fear. We've got a few mental constructs that we shouldn't be playing with knives or we shouldn't walk on the edge of a lake or whatever it is that keeps you safe. Yeah, that is common sense. That is sensible living. But it's insane to be continuously unhappy. 
it's insane it's just whatever i think of people that are continuously happy I'm like what are you thinking about which thought are you are you saying is mine that you own it the thought that says you're fat or the thought that says there's an energy coming from you we can always focus on the negative but this is just moment it will not come again and life is fleeting what is 50 years 60 years 70 years 80 years? what is it it's gone it's gone don't you feel like just yesterday you were in college that you just got married that your kid was just born my god when how did i reach here so far I mean, 30 years 40 years married for so long oh my god don't you feel like it's gone by so fast and we're so caught up in making it in the rat race of i don't know what i don't know what we do morning to night but we do things while we're thinking of something else because if you do things and are completely present when you do them you can only feel happiness because you will be connected but if you're driving and taking your kids to the uh, thing and busy looking at your daughter's phone to see who's messaging her my god what is she into now right we're always doing different things always fears and suspicions and doubts and you know all of these coming into our lives all the time and that prevents us from really enjoying how many meals have you sat down and put that morsel of food into your mouth and said mm, actually tasted it you're watching some show or listening to your whatsapp messages and something goes in just keeps going in you don't even notice what you're eating you're so busy consumed with something else once in a while you know you'll you'll compliment the cook for something because that that day you are present She, you know, the cook has been cooking <laughs> very well for all those days you just didn't notice it because you were preoccupied the next time you eat a grape close your eyes and feel you know that half sweet half tangy taste that comes it's a it's a it's a experience that cannot be described right tomorrow morning when you make your cup of coffee just sniff it and then slowly take that first sip and feel it in your mouth and just feel it going down your throat experience everything totally and this is practice small things we do small little aha moments we create and that breaks our thoughts that helps us to bring it back because it's not just this life that we're breaking the conditioning for we're breaking the conditioning for some thousand million lives that we've had we've been here ever since time right millions of years we've been conditioned to just get so involved and so caught up in this world we think this is it this is not it this is just a temporary journey but since we're here we might as well enjoy ourselves right you don't go on vacation and sit and lock yourself up in the bedroom and say i'm not going out anymore you never do that right you enjoy your vacation so then why are you not enjoying your life because it is a vacation you know, set down to this wonderful earth surrounded by so many beautiful animals and birds and and flowers and fruit so many beautiful people who can enrich your life so much knowledge what so many different things and what are we doing we're drinking we're taking drugs we're taking tablets we're drowning ourselves in 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 misery getting into miserable relationships eating the wrong food 
and then wondering why, you know, life, life sucks. It doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. It can be the most joyous journey that you've ever taken. If you just allow it to. Just allow yourself to be happy. Just stay in the present moment. And when you're in the present moment, you know, there's an upsurge of faith. You know, and I'm not talking, you know, you know me, I don't talk faith in terms of temples and churches. I'm talking about faith in, in, that, in the way the universe works. That's the faith that we need. And then you feel this thing that you have that courage and that ability to deal with anything. Today has been such a difficult day. But we have all focused on just now. And suddenly some, something inside you rises to meet the challenge. You're able to deal with whatever comes your way. And that's what inner courage is. That's what fortitude is. right? And that comes only when you stay here in the moment. It doesn't come when you... Fear and anxiety paralyzes you. But in the moment, this faith comes up. This courage comes up. And immense gratitude. Immense gratitude for just the opportunity for whatever you have experienced this for. A journey with a friend, a journey with a relative, a journey with your children. It's a journey for them and for you. So think of life as one extended vacation. And try to get back to the moment several times a day. This is the practice. It's fine to come here once a week. It's fine to meditate. It's not going to get you anywhere. Not unless you take this knowledge into your lives. And it's the meditation that actually opens things up inside. And if you don't meditate every day, then maybe once a week you'll get some happiness. Once in two weeks, however often you meditate. Right? You meditate every day, every single day, you're going to be happy. You're going to be present. You're going to enjoy your life. And yeah, stuff happens. It doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, people fall sick and people die and money gets lost and jobs get lost. All those things will happen. But how are you dealing with it? Oh, oh my God, my life's finished, gone, everything that I worked for. Now I'm going to commit suicide. You say, no, I'm going to make it work again. You try something else. See, it's what thought you're holding on to. Hold on to the thoughts that lift you up, that keep you present, that make you move forward, that make you enjoy this life and live it effortlessly, no effort. Just everything flowing like a river. Flowing, flowing, flowing.